Okay, this time I'll show you how to use a servo motor with your Raspberry Pi. This time I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3. My other servo motor video is using a Raspberry Pi 1. But the Raspberry Pi 3 has a great advantage for using servo motors because it has four CPU cores so we can separate the servo control to one CPU core so it is really real-time capable. At first we have here the Raspberry Pi then I have this uh, yeah this pin bar which uh, is connected to this soldered uh, circuit which basically uses a transistor to control the the control lane of the servo motor you have in the ser a servo motor has three lanes the, f the the brown one is the ground the red one is the power wire and the yellow one is the control um, I'm using this sophisticated um, method but you can also just connect this brown thing to the ground, the yellow thing to your GPIO 3.3 volt and this red one to your 5 volt power supply. But this circuit is also capable of steering motors that have like 12 volt or more. So let's take a look into the software. Um, I wrote this whole thing in PHP and <coughs> yeah. at first I have to set up uh, the GPI opens. I added the setup script and I'm writing 11 to the GPIO export and out to the GPIO 11 direction. Next part is uh, I, I chose PHP to implement the server control. Uh, Python is quite unsuitable because it does not have this uh, nanosecond wait function and this means uh, I cannot do this fine-grained control of the clock. So I chose to use PHP but you can also use C or Pascal or any language that supports a micro sleep, uh, a nano sleep function. Um, I open the file with a pin, the GPI, uh, this class GPIO, GPIO 11 value in a writable mode and I define a function to set a position of the servo motor $val which ranges from minus 1 to 1 and yeah, I write a 1 to the pin with F write then I do a nano sleep with 1.5 milliseconds plus value times uh, half a millisecond and this means that 1.5 milliseconds means the middle position of the servo motor uh, 0 means the most left and 2 means two, uh, waiting 2 milliseconds means uh, the most right position of the servo motor then after this time of sleeping, I write a zero to the pin and sleep for 20 milliseconds. Now I have a small um, eternal loop that sets the thing to the sign function. So I have a sign curve, <coughs> which means when I run this, I get this kind of um, thing, yes. And uh, uh, one problem, oh, I lost connection to the power cable, one problem that you see here is when I have heavy CPU load, like switching the tabs, the servo motor gets really unstable. That is because the servo motor relies on the, relies on the timing of the GPIO pins. So when my process does not get uh, to work at the right time, I have huge problems. Um, what I did to overcome this problem is to add an 
I saw CPUs equals 3 to boot command line. So let's look at the boot command line. Boot command line. And I added this ISOL CPU 3. This means that on CPU 3, which means the fourth CPU in this quad core processor, never gets any processes assigned. So I can use this fourth CPU exclusively for my servo model. And what I have to do now is to start the servo PHP with a different setup. I use uh, task set. I don't need this nice here because I'm the only one on the uh, CPU core. I'm using this task set C3 on the third CPU um, and run the servo. And now I have a stable yeah, a stable servo control and I can switch the tabs here and nothing uh, is disturbing my PHP process to properly uh, give the timing to the servo motor. So that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye.